get in there, we gotta go do some gardening. I'm gonna be making some tomato cages with cattle panels today. I ordered too many cattle panels when we were building the fence and this is what I'm gonna do with the rest of them. Let's so see. I have some hog green pliers here. Just pick these up at the feed store. And then I have the rings. Word to the wise, Tractor Supply has a set that does not fit around cattle panels. They're gonna be, the, the ones, the small ones are gonna be great for closing up bags of chicken in a few weeks though. These things are pretty easy to use and I think this is gonna work really well. Last year we used field fence to make tomato cages, but they blew over in the wind. They weren't sturdy enough to hold them up. So I think this method is gonna be sturdier and if all else fails, we'll just sink a T-post beside them and hook it to a T-post. I'm gonna be doing them in triangle shapes because I think that will give me plenty of room and it will be sturdy and it saves panels. I don't have to cut as many if I do a triangle versus a square. solitary zip tie right there in the middle so end of the season you just cut that fold it up have a nice big pile of them you don't have to worry about rust with the galvanized yeah i like that no problems cool all right finished product i put them around the volunteer tomatoes in last year's tomato beds um if there's a hill at all, it's going to be a little wobbly, so I think I'll wind up probably just attaching this to this fence on the, the bean arch arches that we put up. Um, I'll come back out later and put zip ties on those when I figure out exactly how I want to do it. Cucumbers, I'm going to plant them like this. I think I can put a cucumber on each side. And that'll give them room to grow and breathe. And I will probably have Jake put me a T-post out here to put those flat sides on just to keep it, give it a little more stability. And then I had two little pieces left over from what we cut 
And I just made a teepee out of those. I think I'm going to plant cucumelon on those. The tomatoes we planted last week are looking really good. I think I might need to feed them. They're a little yellow, so I'm going to get out here today and give them some tomato food. And then while we're out here, let's just take a look at those potatoes. Look at these. They are looking amazing. We only held them up once. We probably should have come out and done it again, and we didn't. But they're getting ready to bloom. For container potatoes, after they got established, we went ahead and just pulled that, fa that landscape fabric off. It was disintegrating anyway, but they're looking really good as well. And same story, we held them up a little bit. We should have done it more, but that's okay. They'll still make quite a few. As always, if you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. We've got bean arches coming up and pepper plants. So we'll see you next time.